today on Nanny McRead, Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch. Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch by James Dean. Here comes Pete. It is lunchtime. Pete is ready to eat. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. He takes out a loaf of bread. He finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayo. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is too small. Something is missing. Pete knows what it needs. His sandwich needs an apple. Pete loves apples. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crunchy. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It is still too small. Pete is very hungry. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg, two hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Something is missing. Pete adds ice cream. He takes three huge scoops. Pete's sandwich is too big for Pete to eat. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks. I've got it, Pete says. Pete calls all of his friends. He asks them to come over. Everyone goes to Pete's house. They are all very hungry. Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry? asks Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. Pete's sandwich is good. Pete's sandwich is very good. Pete's sandwich is all gone. Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. The end. Here are a few questions. What would you have made if you were hungry? What sandwich topping did you like the best? Would you share your food if you made too much? Who would you share your food with? Like our stories? Please come back and hear more. Please subscribe to our channel, Nanny Mick Reed. Have a great day.